Well, kids of all ages can go deep underwater and get up close with sharks or discover the Earth's terrain with an interactive exhibit. It's all part of the National Geographic Museum in the district. Today, I became a Nat Geo Explorer as part of my summer series on area museums. These covers are world famous for their photographs, but as you can see from this original first edition, the magazines weren't always so colorful. This collection is part of a permanent exhibit in the National Geographic Museum. We love to talk about our explorers, right? There are, there are rock stars here. Um, a lot of people know the magazine, they know television, um, which are great. Um, but at its heart, this place is about giving grants to scientists working in the field, and um, we like to highlight the work that they're doing and, uh, and give them a voice. The museum also houses temporary exhibits, including Sharks on Assignment with Brian Scarry. So you learn about sharks, but you also learn about what it's like to be Brian and uh, to do the work that he does and what it's like in the field. So we also often hear about sharks as being menacing. You see the movies, things like that. What does this really want to get across about the animals? And they're predators and need to be careful around them. But ultimately, um, the sharks are in a lot more danger from us than we are from them. Part of the exhibit includes this underwater shark cage. It gives you the feel of what it's like to be alongside of these giant fish. It's more of a fun thing to do. Like they have a scavenger hunt and a um, crossword puzzle. So it doesn't feel like you're learning. It feels like more of a game. I used to be scared of sharks, sure, as a kid, uh, growing up with that movie, Jaws. Uh, but they're just doing what they naturally do, trying to survive, eating their food. Across the hall, this interactive exhibit called Earth Explorers gives kids hands-on experience in the field. So this is less about um, the animals that they're studying or the environments that they're studying or the conservation that they're studying and more about how they go about their job, um, what tools they use, what it's like living in the field for months at a time in the Arctic or, uh, or in the deep rainforest. I'm quite scared of like spiders and snakes but I feel like this is a great way to learn because I don't have to go out and then I have it all here and I have all the information here. Earth Explorers closes on September 17th. The Sharks exhibition ends on October 1st. And in addition to the exhibit, Shark Fest will continue through Saturday. That's six days of special shark-themed programming on Nat Geo Channel. If you'd like more information on the museum, you can log on to nationalgeographicmuseum.org.